Hey now, welcome, Blake here. And today I'm showing you how to make a black Manhattan in honor of Halloween this year. This is a twist on the classic of the same name, but the black comes in by switching the traditional sweet vermouth for an Amaro. First offered for public purview by Todd Smith of Bourbon and Branch in San Francisco around 2005. Now rise the conventional strain of whiskey in this cocktail, but you can use a blended whiskey, bourbon, Tennessee whiskey, all will do just fine. So let's start building, shall we? First thing is, we're going to chill down our serving glass. Okay, we're just gonna fill it up with ice so it chills while we're making the cocktail. Now I like to put ice in my mixing glass first. Many bartenders like to put the spirit in first. That's perfectly fine. I'm putting in the ice first. I like to pour the spirits over the ice. <clears throat> We're gonna pour two ounces of Woodford Reserve Bourbon Whiskey. As I said, should be rye, but we like the bourbon in this one today. And now I'm gonna pour one ounce of the Averna Amaro in there, okay? Now we're going to take two types of bitters, Angostura bitters, two good shakes in there, and then two good shakes of Reagan's orange bitters, okay? Now we stir, okay? Your stirring technique's important, and you should always keep the scoop of your spoon face to the inside of the mixing glass. I'm gauging the temp with my hand down here to see how cold this is. It's getting nice and chilly. You want to keep going here. Our serving glass is getting cold too. That looks pretty good. All right, now we'll discard this ice. Shake that out. Now we're getting ready to serve here. We'll take our strainer. The aromas are wonderful. <laughs> Cheers. All right, now key here is this cocktail gets a cherry as a garnish. I like to take that cherry and dip it in the syrup this, like this and then put a couple of drips right down into the cocktail. Just let them drip to the bottom of the drink and then the cherry is going to continue to drip that syrup down in the drink too. Looks really cool but it adds a little flavor and this drink is wonderful. Herbaceous, earthy spicy it's just a really nice drink give it a shot all right thanks for watching i'm the drink chef and we'll see you in the next one cheers